Welcome back to, to our uh, show, to our video. Today I was just going to comment on uh, Joe and Fran's video this morning. They have a, a new channel called History. History? Yeah, His Story Time. So His Story Time, so every uh, Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time, our time, which would be New York time about 11, 11 a.m. New York time, this show will take place. So it's a, a show that's really gaining momentum. We're finding there's a lot of people on it. And uh, Joe picks up some really interesting subjects. Today he got me thinking outside the box. And, uh, you know, sometimes we're just thinking of ourselves. We're in this system of things and we have all these woes coming at us from different angles and sometimes we focus on that and so what what the show did is helped us to get outside of that and focus on some other things manifesting in some other ways and we got talking about uh there, there's a difference uh, there's kind of a, a higher energy or a lower energy thinking and i thought that was an interesting discussion higher and lower and that the two uh, just can't mix. It just seems like there's a separation and these two energies are going. And so I got thinking about that and I thought, well, hmm, that's been going on since the beginning of civilization, two lines of thoughts. But aren't two lines of thoughts important? You see, two lines of thoughts allow a balance, an equilibrium of thought. And uh, if we step outside of that, we're all on this river together. We're all together on this river, floating down it. And you might have uh, on one bank a liberal thought. You might have more of a conservative thought. Or what do they call it? Democratic. Uh, different, they give, use different political names. Now, <clears throat> on this river of life that we're all flowing down, and we are, the earth is spinning everything's turning everything's flowing time is moving we're on it and we're on this journey of time right now and when i look down and i see all the different lines of thought on the river uh, we're all flowing in the same direction you might see uh, different lines of thoughts different cruise ships that come cruising in here's the watchtower cruise ship and they have their own particular line of thought and what's interesting about uh, being on the ocean or being on the water is that the ship actually has its own laws, its own rules, and it's allowed. Uh, there's a name for that. I can't think of it. It's called, uh, hmm. you remember the name? It's, it's called, um, you guys remember, it's called something waters. You know, you, you have rules on waters. Okay, well, let's move on. So if we if we think about that, that when you're on the waters, when you get onto a cruise ship, you're under the rules of the captain, the captain can, maritime laws. That's what it's called. So when you're on the water so many feet out, <clears throat> you're on maritime laws, you're on new rules. And here's the Watchtower cruise ship coming down. You've boarded that cruise ship. You're under that cruise ship's rules. It's laws. It's government. If you boarded the Mormon cruise ship or the Catholic cruise ship, you'd be under those rules. Or you might be a life raft coming alongside some of these cruise ships, people hop, hopping off. They're beaten up, torn up on these big cruise ships and they're on them for life. They, don't, they never get off. So there's a lot of us that are like lifeboats and we say, hey, let's go for an excursion. Let's stop at the shore. Let's check, let's check out the here and the now. And let's see what we're missing. Let's see what's going on in the world. Let's look at some of the scenery without the judgment. You see, once you get off the cruise ship, you lose all of the judgment, all those things. That stays on the cruise ship. And there's many cruise ships out there. It depends on which one you want to hop on. If you want to hop on, you might decide to take a smaller river. But we're all flowing down the waterway. And the Bible even talks about that. Isaiah, uh, one of the scriptures JWs used to use when I was in it is uh, this one, Isaiah 48 and 18. Oh, that you have paid attention to my commands. 
then your peace would have been like a river and your righteousness like the waves of the sea. So when I think about the watchtower, if only they would have paid attention to God's commands, then their peace would have become like a river and their righteousness like waves of the sea. But you see right now, watchtower is in turbulent waters and their cruise ship just is not, handle, is not designed to handle turbulent waters as such. And uh, there's uh, many problems on the watchtower ship. Lots of people are hopping off. Some people are dying, in fact. So uh, there's a lot of lifeboats out around the watchtower cruise ship helping out, helping uh, many of the casualties, many of the victims. And uh, that's what we see happening. But we're all still flowing down the river of life. And we're going to see rapids. We're going to see rough waters for all of the big cruise ships, all those big religions. They are going through some huge changes. And it's going to be interesting to see what's up around the corner. So thanks again to Joe and Fran. And remember on Tuesday, that's uh, history time, history time. And today they focused on Pinocchio. So uh, thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.